92 years ago in this very church, on this very day, your great-grandparents were married at this same altar. And in 1954, your grandparents were married on this very day. And the dress that she wears is her grandmother Judy's very dress. And oh, this day continues now in the year 2021. What a great gift it is for you to be able to continue the journey and to call this day your very own as well. Mary is the fifth of our six children and the second daughter. Being the fifth of six can be difficult. Sometimes as a parent, it's hard to be impressed by things because you've more than likely seen it before. Mary, however, has had the ability to impress me her entire life. She's smart, talented in numerous ways, sports, academics, artistic ability. Once Mary decides she's gonna do something, it gets done. Ben is one of the most dedicated people I've ever met in my entire life. He's always been there for me, and I know he always will be. Whatever the task is, Ben's all in 100%, and he, and he makes the extra effort to make everybody around him feel important. Ben is the brother that everybody would want. He's the friend that everybody deserves, and I don't know a better person. Today in this sacrament of matrimony, Ben and Mary want to bring to even greater fulfillment their desire to be faithful to the Lord by vowing their fidelity to each other. Ben will say to Mary, this is my body given for you. And Mary, you will say to Ben, this is my body given for you. From this day forward, they promise to show their faithfulness to the Lord through their fidelity to each other. I hope that today is a fairy tale, your fairy tale, and may sparks fly as you begin your wonderful love story. May you always be able to shake it off whenever there is bad blood and recognize when you need to calm down. Each night, I hope you look into each other's eyes and think how grateful you are that you belong with me. It's not an exaggeration when I say that, that Ben and I have experienced every chapter of life together up until now, and I couldn't be more excited to welcome Ben into what I know will be the best chapter of his life yet, and that's starting his life with Mary tonight. Over the years, I've gotten to know Mary uh, extremely well, and I gotta tell you, she's exactly the kind of person you hope your best friend ends up with. So with that said, if everyone will please raise a glass and toast, to Mr. and Mrs. Dryling, may today be the first day of a lifetime of happiness and love.